Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. So we have Chakra Clearing and it's Archangel Metatron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Okay, so lots of crown chakra energy here, high vibrational stuff, intuitive um, energy and ability as well. I'm feeling um, signs and synchronicities. So I think you, you will be having or experiencing an increase in signs and synchronicities or, you know, when you do see these signs, they're going to feel very powerful. You're just going to have this deep, connected inner knowing that that's a message for you. So I, I, what I see um, happening in this situation... I see you feeling supported by the divine. I see you um, feeling perhaps more seen than you have been in this situation and feeling as though you're not alone, feeling as though it's you and a team behind you working for your highest and best good. Yes, we have Meerkat, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Okay, let me just pull them, turn them all over or I'll end up talking for an hour about each one. We have Cardinal, the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. For the Lover's Oracle message, we have Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So that's kind of pretty perfect for this reading because soulmates, as we know, they can be romantic, but they can also be non-romantic. We have quest. Oh, two blue cards here. Workaholic. Oh, and I, I also wanted to pull from this spell deck. Um, sometimes I get questions saying which deck is this? It's this one, the Practical Witches spell deck. You can find it on Amazon. Um, so what I say with these cards is you can use them or not. Or, I mean, of course, you can think of them as spells or helpful pointers with manifestation. So um, I'm just thinking, I want you to be able to see these. Let me read them both. Then I will refocus the camera and hold them up in case you want to pause um, and have more of a look. So the first one we have is an altar spell and it says, intention magic, candle consecration. Write your intention, uh, intention on paper and place an anointed candle in a candle holder. Light it and say, Blessed candle, light of the goddess, I burn this light of, insert deity's name, hear my prayer, O oh, deity's name, hear my need, grant my wish and give me hope, do so with all your grace and magical speed. Now read your intention as you wrote it on the paper. Roll the paper into a scroll and using a, a few drops of the warm wax from your intention candle, seal your sacred statement. Place the paper on your altar or in a special place. <clears throat> so sometimes with these, I think they're a bit extravagant. This one really is not too too much. But yeah, take what resonates with you. And it's so interesting that this is talking about, um, you know, it's asking a deity to work with you to basically give a, give you support and help you move forward. And, you know, we've seen that right from the beginning, that, that how this situation is unfolding is... You're becoming aware or more aware, if you already are, of how much support there is around you. And I feel you're going to be seeing manifestations of this. So it's not going to just be about you having this blind faith. But, um, you know, the, your divine guidance team is going to be saying, and here's a sign, here's a sign, you know, here's more encouragement. So the other one is a moon spell and it says prophetic dreams. Take a dried poppy seed pod and empty the seed onto the ground or empty the seeds onto the ground. Take a tiny strip of paper and write down a question about how to attain meaningful and positive rewards in your life. Sleep with the pod and the paper under your pillow. You will experience prophetic dreams that will answer your question. This is best done during the Pisces moon. Keep a dream journal by your bed and write down the dream immediately upon waking. Make this a ritual and you will have a rich resource of inner wisdom to guide you. I mean, these are all really linking up. These two cards are both, um, I mean, actually, this one about the candle, I don't think it said anything about night, did it? For some reason, I, I was just thinking of doing it before sleep. So you could do it that way. OK, let me um, adjust the camera so I can hold these up for you. OK, so here is the first card. I'm not sure if that's even big enough to read, hopefully. Um, and here is the second card. Let's see if this helps. Uh, 
Okay. So, whether you are manifesting a lover, a friend, a reconciliation, work, um, some kind of answer to a question that's to do with your healing or, you know, your next steps here. Um, I'm seeing you becoming incredibly focused. We have Quest and we have Workaholic. Now, it doesn't have to just be to do with work, but I feel that you, you're you going to be really honing in on whatever your goal is here and you're going to work diligently to get to it. So maybe this is in terms of working on your vibration, you know, the law of attraction. Maybe it's in terms of working on your 3D environment, you know, um, getting rid of what you need to, bringing in what you need to in your world. Um, maybe you're working on setting firmer boundaries as well, um, you know, with other people. So anything that's not for you will fall away. And maybe you're going to push through any feeling of uncomfortability because you're very determined here. And I think what that's doing is allowing your you know, divine support team here, your divine guidance team, to be really clear with the signs and synchronicities that they're giving you because what you're asking for, what, what your vibration is asking for is so clear, so direct. It's like you, your guides, you're all on the same page and I, I see you moving much more quickly here than you have been. So even if you haven't felt things have been going slowly or maybe you have, I just see the pace um, quickening. Um, and I actually feel, you know, whatever you are working towards obtaining here, I do see you in the near future. For some reason, I'm giving being given a time frame of three months from when you're watching this. I see you obtaining whatever this is. And um, it doesn't feel like a small thing. You know, it's not like you're saying, um, I, I've really been wanting to try um, a new flavor of, um, I don't know, chocolate or something you know but i have to go over to the next town to get it oh i've you know i went and i got it great this this kind of feels like it's a big deal especially with soulmate here um so i'm seeing it may have to do with another person you could be um looking to find a community of people that you resonate with now or you're trying to enter into a specific area <clears throat> in terms of maybe work or a hobby or it could just be the one person but there's a real feeling of community here you're part of something you feel very worthy is coming through you feel very appreciated you feel very seen and you feel very deserving because of how much is going into this how much focus um and although it says workaholic it, it's not coming across as any effort that's exhausting it feels it feels exhilarating actually because you're so focused and it's almost like you set an intention you get a sign you you move forward and you know it keeps happening happening over and over it's like your feedback here is so quick it's very exciting um okay get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends so i i see this happening organically i don't see you going out really seeking this i see this coming to you because as, as i keep saying you're so clear about what you want and this can be in the 5d definitely i see that for you also in the 3d as well so if you are focused on a person here romantic or non-romantic your intention is so clear it's almost like think of the um of tarot think of the chariot card you know the person in the chariot follows the star they're following their inner voice their intuition their their faith and they're determined to get there no matter what obstacles appear and that's kind of what i feel from you here so you do it your soulmate is here and this is the thing it says your soulmate is already with you in spirit and you know this in the coming days weeks months you have this absolute certainty and so they manifest for you physically because it can be no other way your intention your focus is, is just leaving no room for them to not appear or for this to not work out okay so this cardinal card is very interesting given that the first one we have is full of this um, almost like psychic intuitive energy and ability it's talking about your spiritual self and your physical self so i do see you getting a really good balance here between them so if maybe um, your focus recently has been too much on developing your spiritual gifts and you've become ungrounded that's not going to be a problem anymore Similarly, if you've been trying to get um, guidance, you've been trying to listen to your inner voice, but your 3D world has been blocking that out for one reason or another, I see you tapping back in to, you know, your crown chakra, into your third eye to really pick these messages up and possibly through your dreams here. So this card may have come out 
because when we're asleep we have the least resistance so that's a nice way for you to um you know to reignite that connection or to become aware of it again so if if you resonate with that if you resonate with feeling like you're a little bit disconnected from your own higher self you know as i said for whatever reason um trying to connect with your higher self through dreams that's that could be a nice um a nice way to to begin to get back into that without feeling you know the pressure and sometimes you know some people don't want to meditate because they they feel restless or they find it boring um or maybe it just feels like it's too much of a change of speed given the rest of their day you know so um yeah dreams sleep can be a nice way in but what i will say is really you know really set your intention here whatever it is don't play it small you know um go as be as idealistic as you want what is the perfect scenario here i would say you know really aim high here because you have support in the 5d in the 3d um and yeah it's not coming just because you know it is it's coming because you're deciding um and that's what's going to see you through that's what's going to see you through towards getting this goal obtaining this this connection um and moving forward is that you're determined here and it's a positive determination so your vibration remains high okay with the blue here for our chakra cards you know there's a lot about communication and um, i feel it's very successful communication it's about being able to align with your highest truth it's speaking your highest truth it's being heard you know and those around you there's no misunderstanding people are, are really um really very clear about what you're saying what you're showing the energy that you're giving out here um yeah you know clear communication as well i just feel everything going forward from here over the next few months and i wasn't intending for this to be timed but spirit's very adamant something about three months um you are coming across as a powerhouse because of your intention your clarity and it's your clarity is coming through on many different levels here um you know your focus your intention okay so let's move on to see what the tarot has to say in terms of if you want to work with a specific archangel as i said we do have archangel metatron coming through um you know maybe some of you already are very you know are close with this energy or work with archangel metatron if you've been feeling tired um a bit lethargic or drained that energy looks like it's clearing there could be like a, um, a boost um and look see we have a magician absolutely so gemini energy there king of cups um yeah so maybe for some of you it, go, it works sort of backwards maybe you have a dream that you weren't expecting and it's you travel it's an astral travel sort of dream and you wake up and you feel exhilarated you feel alive and you it gives you new focus new energy to move forward okay so spirit what else can you show us please what will happen in this situation that my viewer has in their mind we have the ace of pentacles in the reverse before i started the reading i was hearing in my head bambi um <laughs> i don't know i don't know if someone's nickname is bambi or um do you know how it felt when it came through it's almost like someone was saying um to another person yeah okay bambi as in someone saying to this person you're kind of um maybe a bit naive inexperienced a bit idealistic but it's endearing it's sweet so i don't know if that's someone you're dealing with or um you you know you being in this energy might seem that way to others but you know more for them because this is what's getting you your goal here so i don't know or like i said maybe someone just calls you bambi i don't know <laughs> okay so we have the nine of swords eight of cups in the reverse 
oh wow okay and we have the ten of pentacles in the reverse so we begin and end with pentacles now this is very interesting every card is reversed well apart from the nine of swords and i feel the other cards are reversed because of the nine of swords so when we're in this energy here we are overthinking we're getting terrible sleep we imagine worst case scenarios our vibration is very low because we're in a place of anxiety fear it's very um, debilitating sometimes this is the energy you're coming out of if you're in this energy now you might be looking at the rest of this reading and saying that that energy sounds wonderful but it feels a million miles away but i i, I see that's the energy that you're moving into and as i said it could this energy could be triggered through a, a very special unexpected dream it could be that you start to really feel um valued by your 3d 5d community you feel that they want the best for you so that inspires you it could just be that you have this sudden realization that happens doesn't it sometimes or you see a way through what may have been a potential blockage before so there's a worry here an anxiety about okay this is big because this is a this is a situation or a connection that you're invested in in terms of your your emotions your inner world your hopes your dreams your goals but also your 3D world. You're wanting to see this ground. You're wanting to see it materialize in a tangible way. And it's something you're wanting to see grow and you know to have no limit we go from the ace of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. But there's worry, anxiety about maybe many levels of this, you know, are the feelings reciprocated? Um can this work in a practical way? Um if it's about a person here and there's a separation, will they come back? Does this person feel the same? I see them as my person. Do they see me as their person? This could very well be about a work situation as well and money. Um, maybe for some of you, if you're wanting to start a new venture or you have, you might be saying, how do I grow this? How do I go from an opportunity into something that's solid, you know, something that enables me to provide for me for family for possible future generations um you know maybe you're saying my heart's in this it feels good but how do i actually make this work this is an energy that's switching and you really you you know you set your goal and you're on a mission and no one can stop you and with workaholic you're being incredibly diligent and um, i see it paying off Oh my god, here's the chariot. So let me get to this in a minute. But with workaholic, this is the energy I feel. If it's work, it makes sense. Even if it's love, family, you know, romantic love, platonic love, you're treating this as you know, as we would with work. So we get up, we have to be at work at a certain time, we spend, you know, however many hours there. It's it's serious, it's something we're diligent about. It, you know, whereas if we're say manifesting a reconciliation, we might do it here, there, when we've got time. But no, I see you you you're really taking this seriously. Okay, so the chariot in the reverse. You see, this is this is the energy I I feel that maybe is around now or it has been. There seems to be some obstacle that's maybe off putting you or, or seems off putting because it seems very big. You may have been knocked back or knocked down several times. You have been trying. You know, the, the chariot for me also is like the 3D version of the magician. You have been doing everything you can to be this magician. And maybe it's been a bit demoralizing, you know, feeling that yet even so things are still outside of your control. There are many factors going on. Um, but again, I see you moving out of this energy. So we have cancer energy here. We have the knight of wands. Seven of Swords in reverse. So moving forward on an initial burst of passion, of joy. So it looks like you take the pressure off. Maybe some of you resonate with being a bit of a, a perfectionist. And I can see that here with Quest, Workaholic. Um, and that might have been tripping you up because maybe the circumstances have not been 100% ideal for moving forward. Or maybe the feedback you've received or the way your journey has been unfolding hasn't been maybe, you know, as I said, perfect or ideal. But I see you kind of chucking that off and almost having a, you know, like what the hell kind of attitude. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to do what feels good right now. I'm not going to look a million miles into the future. I'm just going to take these next few steps. And this energy here is actually very encouraging, very inspiring. And it's like it gets you on a whole new wave. Seven of Swords in reverse. 
Whatever this feeling is of separation, of disconnect, whether it's between you and one other person or you and a group of people here, you and your higher self, you and spirit, it's like you realise that has been a facade. There is no separation and you suddenly feel really, really connected again. It's been an illusion, you know, this feeling of maybe of, of isolation here. And that's not to say it hasn't been a very real experience, you know, especially with the Nine of Swords. And we have the Five of Wands. Now, normally, to me, what's on the back? The Hermit in Reverse. Yeah, see Virgo energy, but you're coming out of, um, out of, of being alone. Maybe you need a time to think about things, but I think it's become a bit lonely. It's become a bit isolating. So as I was saying, normally in the Five of Wands, this is an energy of interference, everyone saying, let's do it my way, and, and everyone's all, you know, just getting in each other's way here. But I don't feel that with this spread, and um, even this particular depiction of the card, you can see that there's a lot going on. These birds all have their wands, they're flying in different directions, but they're not actually blocking each other's way. They're not hitting each other. You know, okay, there's a tight space, and yet they're successfully still flying and they're successfully still maneuvering around one another so i feel again this is about this support this community whether it's 3d 5d coming in to help you realize your dream here sorry about that i wasn't even expecting anything but you see things turning up for you gifts because that actually i think is um is something that one of you lovely viewers has sent for me so an unexpected gift arriving unexpected support so yes a group of people a group of spirit guides helping you to see um, how to navigate any perceived or real blockages how to make this opportunity here into something grounded and tangible okay so the you know, the, the in, most interesting and biggest thing here that I'm seeing in terms of where will this go, what will happen in this situation, it starts with you. It starts with um, you really stepping into a whole new energy. There's a, a vibrancy here, a strength, an enthusiasm that turns this situation around and there's no stopping you. I see this moving incredibly um, quickly. And if, it, you know, if you're wanting to draw someone in for a reconciliation or you're wanting to find a partnership, romantic or otherwise, I see that happening. I'm almost, I know we don't have her here, but I'm getting the Queen of Wands energy. Um, and I say Queen, not King, because the Queen of Wands is is more of a balance between giving and receiving. The King of Wands is, is very much about taking action. The Queen of Wands, there's a real intuitive side to her as well. It's like she knows when to push forward, when to take action. She knows when to receive. She knows when to be aware of signs and symbols um, and synchronicity. So I kind of get that feeling as well. Okay, so on that note, I will leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful. I will be back tomorrow for um, our reading about what's hidden in your connection. So that will be a romantic reading. So um, if you have someone in mind, someone specific, and you're wanting to know, is there something you should know, something to do with a blockage, blessing, you know, anything you're not seeing right now, um, then I'll be back to do that reading tomorrow. So hopefully see you then. Otherwise, thank you for being here today. Take care and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.